red. Well, we're off to catch our breath. Back in a moment. Welcome back. Well, this is where the championship will be decided in both the men's and the ladies. The 3,000 metres, it'll be the ladies' final first of all. Eight skaters taking part. That's the lineup. Yang Yang A for China. Leader after three distances with 89 points. Yang Yang S in second place on 68 points. Moon Young Kim in third on 26 points. In fourth place on 21 points. Evgenia Radenova. Fifth, Chun Lu Wang on eight points. With uh, Marinella Canclini, the European champion, also on eight points in sixth place. Seventh, Daniela Mollendijk. And eighth, Ivan Kunza from Germany, who's having a terrific time here in Sofia. Kunza sixth on the first day in the 1500 meters 19th in the 500 she goes into this uh, 3000 meters in eighth place fantastic result it's 15th last year so you can see very much a cat and mouse game procession here 27 laps of the track And Cleaney, three times European champion at the back. Min Young Kim for Korea, wearing 43. Keep an eye on her, the silver medalist in the Junior World Championships this year. It's Mollendijk for Holland in second place. She finished fifth in the Junior World Championships and was in fact fifth in the European Championships at the beginning of the year, which were held in Oberstdorf. front lying in second place Mollendijk not wanting to take up the running well it can't get a lot slower but she's going to be forced to Mollendijk in front now with Moon Young Kim for Korea in second place so Yang Yang A the uh, leader Wanted to speed things up a little bit then, but uh, happy to keep it at this pace. So Mollendijk for Holland leading. And uh, a little bit of a speed up now. So Mollendijk now. Accelerating the pace. Second place, Kim for Korea. Well... It all slows down once more with 18 laps to go. Still can Cleany back in seventh place. Min Young Kim for Korea in second. Yang Yang A in third, wearing the red helmet. That's to define the championship leader. Right at the back, Evgeny Radonova for Bulgaria. Finished second in the 500 meters. Third after two rounds of the competition, lying in fourth place at the moment on 21 points. Silver medalist in the European Championships, finished second in the World Cup this year overall. There she is right at the back at the moment with 15 laps to go. And once more, Danielle Mollendijk speeds things up. The pack going with her, but uh, pretty strung out. Bit of a gap there between Canclini and the five skaters ahead of her. Well, you can bet your bottom dollar it'll be fast and phonetic at the end. And at last, a change and a roar goes up for Radanova, who takes up the running. A lot of home support for her here, and she really has been inspired. Well, that response will have given her a boost. Yvonne Kunze for Germany in second place. She's had the championships of her life, no doubt about that. So 
So Molendijk leading, Kunz for Germany in second place. The championship leader back with Can Cleaney at the back of the pack at the moment. Molendijk back down in fourth place. Nine laps to go now. Two thirds gone. And still no one really wanting to take this race on. Well, they must have heard me. Can Cleaney makes a move up the inside. Molendijk moves around the outside to take up the lead. Now the uh, Chinese responding to that. Can Cleaney struggling to keep her balance there, but still Molendijk out in front. Seven laps to go, and it's all starting to hot up now. Molendijk. So now Kim for Korea takes up the running. And it's uh, Kim leading. Just five laps to go. Evgeny Radanova in second place. Yang Yang, the championship leader, in third place with four laps to go. Still Kim in front. Radanova in second place. Now it's all about stamina. And uh, Yang Yang makes a move now with three laps to go. Up into second place, the championship leader. Hot on the heels of Moon Young Kim. Kim, silver medalist in the Junior World Championships, but leading here with two laps to go. And Yang Yang now makes a move. Kim down into second place. China, first and third. Yang Yang. And Kim looking good. She takes a look down the inside into the final curve now. It's going to be desperately close. Yang Yang just about makes it. Kim in second place. Fantastic finish. Yang Yang, a championship leader. And uh, that really seals it for her. The defending champion wins for the second time. Winner of the World Cup this year as well. Second place, Moon Young Kim, silver medalist in the Junior World Championships. And that's enough to give her the bronze medal in the championships overall. Third place going to Yang Yang S for China. And uh, that will give her second place overall with 81 points. Fourth there was Chun Lu Wang for China. She'll finish fifth overall. And uh, Danielle Molendijk, fantastic performance for her, finishing in fifth place, just ahead of Evgenia Radanova. So on to the men's 3,000 meter final. There, the skaters being introduced. That is Stephen Bradbury for Australia, lying in eighth place with three points. Sixth in the 1500 meters, the opening round. Canada's Andrew Quinn has been announced. Lying in seventh place, 13 points for him. And uh, Satoru Toreo, Fabio Carter. Lies in second place behind Tarao. But only uh, seven points between them. So uh, this will be a very interesting race indeed. Dong Sung Kim for Korea, the world record holder at 3,000 metres, which stands at 4.46.72. That uh, not approved by the ISU, set in November last year. He won Lee for China, wearing 14. Won the 500 metres, was leading after two rounds. Didn't have a great 1,000 metres, finds himself in third place here. And uh, Stephen Bradbury, Wants to make a, a go of this early on. 24 laps to go, and uh, he's going to race now to try and catch the pack. Bradbury looks across. The pack have responded. He's got his work cut out. I don't think he's going to do that. Well, it's a good tactic if you uh, pace it well and can get away with it. Pack uh, closing up now with 22 laps, and Stephen Bradbury decides to slow things back down again. So there, Andrew Quinn for Canada taking up the running now. So Quinn leading, Bradbury in second place. Andrew Quinn, ninth of the 500 meters, seventh overall with 13 points. And uh, things have slowed right down. Fabio Carter leading the pack. He's caught them up with 19 laps to go. Carter just moving around the outside now and he'll be disappointed not to be wearing re that red hat Satoru Toreo 
It is leading, and Stephen Bradbury decides to go for it again. So uh, Bradbury makes a move with 17 laps to go, and once more, the rest of the field respond, and uh, it's pretty much an indecisive move there by Bradbury. If you're going to do that, you've really got to go flat out. So Bradbury out in front the field just uh, being allowed to reel him back in and uh, once more Bradbury's thinking about it well 13 laps to go and there's half a lap in it Bradbury, I don't think, has got the legs to catch them. It uh, really does take some energy out of you. It saps the power out of the legs, and he's going to need some speed at the end. And he'll be looking to keep that distance between him and the rest of the field with 11 laps to go, half a lap in it. Can he catch the pack? Well, he's getting closer. Well, he's almost there, and they're not responding. They let him get close. And a good effort there from Stephen Bradbury. He's nearly caught them as we approach the final third of this race. But, uh, Bradbury looks down and out. Well, the rest of the skaters just conserving their energy. I think it's uh, Dong Sung Kim that's leading. Fabio Carter there, the European champion in fourth place. And still, Stephen can't catch the pack. And uh, things starting to hot up now with five laps to go. And uh, Andrew Quinn, I think it is, that's making a move there. The championship leader, Satoru Toreo, in third place. Fabio Carter looking tired. Six for him at the moment. Just behind America's Apollo Anton Ono, the junior world champion. Three laps to go now. And here we go, the run for home. And it is, in fact, Ji Zhuan Li for China that's out in front. Carter in second place with two laps to go. Li looks very strong as we halfway around this final lap Torreo makes a move up the inside he knows he's got to get the better of Lee Torreo in second place ahead of Carter well that could prove crucial tremendous performance there from Ji Zhuan Li paced himself well he won the 500 meters was third in the 1500 led after two rounds went into this in third place but uh, that win there will give him the title with 81 points. It'll be second place for Saturu Toreo on 76 points, and the European champion, Fabio Carter, will have to settle for the bronze medal in this World Championships. He was a silver medalist last year. Literally nothing in it. There's confirmation of the 3,000 metres. Carter in third place, and it'll be third place overall in the championships. Toreo will finish in second. That's the situation further down the list. Bradbury, who made much of the early running and gave the crowd something to shout about, finishing down in eighth of the eight in that 3,000 metres. We've got the relay in a moment. Don't go away. Great time. The ladies' 3,000 metre relay. Very, very exciting indeed. That's the situation. China, Canada, Bulgaria, and Italy made it through into the finals. It's always very exciting. The uh, results of the World Championships last year it was uh, China that won, and they've got to be hot favourites here. Korea finished in second place. The Americans were third. 
and uh, the Italians, in fact, were disqualified in the finals. So away we go, 27 laps of the track and uh, straight away the Bulgarians go into the lead. Italy in second place, China in third and the Canadians at the back at the moment. You can change at any time except in the last two laps. So another change there from the Bulgarians. The field spread out a little bit. Keep your eye on the Chinese, the Chinese, the silver medal winners in the Olympics, defending champions. The winners of the World Team Championship Relay race for the last two years and World Cup winners. But uh, it's still the Bulgarians out in front and that's giving the crowd here something to really shout about. The Italians, winners of the European crown this year in second place. The Italians were so strong, such a good team in the European Championships. They won at... Uh, every single title and the Italians coming through now Italian making a change now so Canada one Italy two Bulgaria three and the Chinese just keeping out of trouble with 20 laps to go a change from the Bulgarians there a good change as well the Italians just uh, nipping through And the Canadians out of contention now, but uh, a good battle on between the Chinese team and the Italians. The Italians keeping in contention there. Bulgarians dropping back a little bit. Yang Yang handing over there. So the Italians there, keeping up well, Bulgaria hanging on in there too, in third place. So China one, Italy two, Bulgaria three, and the Canadians down and out. Change from the Bulgarian team, glancing across before the change to see where the Canadians were. And uh, important for the Italians to keep up with the Chinese team. Just 12 laps to go, the Italians. Bronze medalist in the World Team Championships last year, finished fifth this year, and uh, third in the World Cup. So approaching the final third of this 3,000 meter relay final. And the Chinese and favorites pulling away now. But uh, as you've seen, if you've been watching our coverage of this championship, anything can happen in short track speed skating. It's one of the most exciting sports going. And uh, look at that. China really opening up quite a lead now, showing their dominance here in short track speed skating. The Italians take a change, but I don't think they're going to be able to close that gap. Six laps to go now. China lead, Italy second. The Bulgarians in third place. Canada unable to close that gap on the Bulgarians and in fact the uh, Bulgarian team getting closer to the Italians with five laps to go you can see that gap has closed quite considerably still the Chinese way out in front but the Bulgarians being inspired by the crowd here well just three laps to go now and I think the Italians will have the measure of the Bulgarian team. China looking very, very strong indeed. The defending champions on their final lap. And uh, the Italians have done well to fend off that challenge from the Bulgarian team. So a shake of the fist as uh, the Chinese team come home to win the World Championship. Tremendous race. China first, Italy second, Bulgaria third, and uh, the Canadian team finish in a disappointing fourth place. Silver medalists in the team championships for the last two years. Bronze medalist in the Olympics.
There's the Italians. Winners of the silver medal. Well, they were disqualified in the finals last year. So uh, they'll be pleased to get a medal. There's confirmation. And uh, great for the Bulgarian team. There they are. Well, they'll be celebrating. A bronze medal for them. And that's the response here. Fantastic stuff. Very, very well done. Well, they put in a spirited effort. Evgeny Radinova, Daniela Vleeva, Anna Krasdeva, and Marina Georgieva, the uh, Bulgarian team. So on to the men's. The men's have to race over 5,000 metres, 45 laps of the track. And uh, there's some of the officials who've been working so hard over these three days. So the lineup: China, Italy, Korea, and Canada. And away we go. Well, there won't be too much cat and mouse here. It's uh, a little bit of an easy pace, but uh, nothing like we saw in the 3,000 meter finals. So Canada first, China in third place. Thought they were going to go up into second place. It's Italy in second. The Koreans at the back at the moment. So changes from all four teams there with 42 laps to go. Well, as you can imagine, this really is a battle of wills. And uh, just to give you an idea how fast these guys are going, it's difficult to tell on the television, but when they're putting the power on, they reach speeds of up to uh, 55 kilometers an hour going around those corners. Can you imagine turning a corner as tight as that at that sort of speed if you've ever fancied uh, watching the sport live or viewers back home in the UK the World Championships is coming to England next year it uh, will be held around this time next year at Sheffield Arena and uh, if you want information about tickets, you can contact the National Ice Skating Association. Unfortunately, I don't have the number on me, but uh, give them a call and they'll be able to give you all the information about coming to support the British team at the World Championships next year. It's definitely worth a trip. So the situation here with 34 laps to go, Canada leading, Italy second, China third, and Korea in fourth place. The Canadians, the Olympic champions out in front, defending champions. Winners of the World Team Championships last year had to settle for second place behind the Chinese in this year's event and finished in fourth place in the World Cup. The Italians in second place at the moment. European champions didn't get a medal in the Olympics. They were disappointed about that. Finished in fourth place, but winners of the World Cup this year. And the Chinese team, well, you can never rule them out. They were bronze medalists in Nagano last year. Bronze medalists in the World Championships as well last year, but won the World Team Championships this year and were second in the World Cup. Koreans disappointing in the World Cup this year, finished in eighth place and fifth in the World Team Championships. So 27 laps to go. Just under 3,000 meters to skate. Canada, it is out in front. Italy in second, China third, Korea in fourth. All teams make a change here. Uh, the Chinese looking for a way through up into second place, the door being closed by the Italians. So no change in the order with 23 laps to go. And the ice, as you can imagine, really does get cut up towards the latter stages of this race. Fabio Carter taking up the running now for the Italians in second spot, but still Canada out in front. The Koreans losing a little bit of ground at the back there. 
Once more, all four teams change, and a good change by the Italians. They move up into first place. Canada second, Korea third now. Sorry, China third. Koreans still in fourth place as uh, China. Well, that was a good change from the Canadians, and now Canada out in front. And, uh, oh, and the Italians are down and out. Well, that's disappointing. Well, bit of disappointment for the Italian team. It's uh, Canada out in front now. China in second place, and uh, the Koreans are way back in third with 18 laps to go. The Italians, you can see, over half a lap behind with 17 laps to go. China now lead. Well, I said the ice does get cut up. And uh, that's the sort of thing that can happen. So the Chinese now opening up the gap a little bit. Silver medalists in the World Cup behind the Italians. And uh, the Italian team will be bitterly disappointed. Canadians uh, taking a look up the inside and now take up the running. So Canada now leading. China in second and the Koreans still away back with 12 laps to go. They look as though they're closing the gap though. The Koreans starting to reel the two leaders in and the Italians way, way back. And uh, down and out of contention. And a real battle going on between these two front runners. Well, this is when it's a battle of wheels. The legs start to burn now with nine laps to go. And uh, the Chinese are, are starting to turn the screw and put the pressure on. Canada just, you feel a hanging on in there in that second spot. The Koreans, they haven't really made any impression. The latter stages of the race now, and the Canadians, well, looking for a way through and finding it. Seven laps to go, and Canada lead. China now with a good change. They've got the inside line. China now lead. Canada second. The Koreans still with a lot of ground to make up with six laps to go. Well, tremendous encouragement. And uh, we missed that, but it looked like a bad change from the Canadian team. And uh, the Chinese now out in front. And uh, I think the Koreans have come through into second place. Indeed, they have. Well, it must have been a fall by the Canadians, or certainly a, a, a bad trip. So the Chinese out on their own now. Korea in second place. Into the final two laps. And now the bell. So China are surely going to win this one. Well, what an exciting race. So China win. It's uh, the Republic of Korea in second place. Canada managing to finish in third place, and the Italians will be very, very disappointed with that fourth place finish there. Such a physically demanding race. And uh, once, the, once again, the Chinese very, very dominant. dominant. Bronze medalists in Nagano. Bronze medalist in the World Championships last year. They've won the World Team Championships this year, second in the World Cup. But the 1999 World Champions, China. Well, the crowd have uh, been very supportive over these three days of competition. It's been a great event. And uh, a look at the final stages again there. And their jubilation as the uh, Chinese team crossed the line. They've had a great championships. And there's confirmation. China win, Republic of Korea in second place. Canada third. And the Italians well off the pace in fourth place. Well, they made so much of the early running, but uh, couldn't keep it going. Well, that the final event in these uh, World Short Track Speed Skating Championships. And there the demise of the Italian team. 
And uh, you can see there the skater just losing his edge around the corner. The ice really does take a pounding on this 45 lap race. Well, it's been a thrilling three days. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. For now, from myself, Chris Hauer, cheerio. Weekday mornings on BBC One and Change That returns on Monday at 9. This morning, it's Good Living. Hello and welcome to Good Living. Today...